In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install and set up Python in Visual Studio Code on Windows 11. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's see if we have Python installed into our system or not. So for that purpose, I will open CMD or command prompt and then we'll see if we have Python installed or not. I will just write here Python space hyphen hyphen version. And now if I hit enter, here you can see it says Python was not found because we have not installed the Python into our system. To download and install the Python, I'll go back to my browser. So in your browser, just write download Python and click on the first link as it is of the official website. By default, it will show you the latest version of Python that is available out there. Just click on it and it will download the Python for you. As we are done with the download process, just click on it in order to install it into our system. From here, you have two options. Either you can go with the default setting or you can also go with the customized installation. I'll show you that how you can go with the customized installation and make sure you also check this box that says add Python 3.10 to path because for environment variables, we need to have path. So if you just click on this option, that will get added on its own. So now click on customize installation and from here, these things will get installed by default. I surely need pip. This is the library for Python. Then we also have Python test suite for the testing purpose. And then we have documentation and some other things. After that, just click on next. And now you also have some of the things that you can choose. I will just click on install and it will start the installation process. It will take only a little bit of time and then we'll move ahead. So we are done here with the installation of our setup. So I will just close this one and now I'll go back to my Visual Studio Code. So this is the default page that you will get after the installation of Visual Studio Code. Just click on this Explorer and from here you can open your folder or you can create a new project. But as we are going to use Visual Studio Code for the first time, that is why we do not have any folder to open. So to create a new folder or new file, you have file section in here. Just click on it and from here, click on new file. It will create a new file for you. Now we need to change it and we need to make it a file for Python. So just press Ctrl S and it will open the directory or repository where you can save this file. I will save this file onto my desktop and I will name this file as skills build dot py after giving the file name make sure you choose the right file type so just click on it and from here look for python so i will keep looking for my python here it is i will just click on it and now just click on save now my file is dot py file which is obviously of python so as soon as we have created a file with python extension here we have a recommendation from visual studio code itself here it says, do you want to install the recommended extension for Python because it has detected that some Python file has been created into Visual Studio Code. Either you can install it directly from here or you can click on show recommendations. But I'll show you another way. Here we have a section that says extensions. If you just click on it from here, not only you can download and install the extension for Python, but you can download and install the extension for any programming language that is suitable for Visual Studio Code. So by default, we have Python at top. So I will just write the name of Python in here and it will give us all the results related to Python. You might be wondering that we have so many files in here, which one to download and which one not to. Well, all these files or all these extensions are sorted by the number of downloads and their ratings. As you can see, the first one got downloaded 51 million times. And not only that, it is also developed by Microsoft, just like the Visual Studio Code. So it means both of these will be compatible with each other. So just click on the first one and from here, click on install. It will start the installation process of Python for our Visual Studio Code. And down here, we have the documentation and every information that you might need in order to install 
and use your Python extension. So we are done with the installation of our Python extension. And here we have two options, either we can disable this one or we can uninstall this version and we can download and install some other version of this extension. I will just close these two windows and I'll get back to my file that we have just created. Now in here, I will have a variable a equals 10. Then my second variable will be b equals 20. And then we will have a print statement. In my print statement, I will add these two variables simply. So I will just write here a plus b. Now, in order to run this file, we have two ways. Either right click on your screen and here we have run current file in interactive window, run from line in interactive window and some other option. We also have an option that says run Python file in terminal. It means it will open a terminal in your Visual Studio code. So I will just go with this option. So here you can see the script has run successfully and here we have an answer as 30. So let's make a little bit of change into our code and let's see how we can run this script with other way. So I will have another variable as C equals A plus B. So basically I'm adding these two variable into C variable. So in my print statement, I will just call my C variable and to run this file or run this script, we have a run button here. Just click on it and it will run your script. And as you can see down here, we have the same answer. And with that, we are done for today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.